I went to my um, a, a doctor to get an implant, and he, and he, I mentioned that I wanted to have my overbite fixed, and he said, "Oh, go talk to your orthodontist." And I said, "Okay." So I went to my orthodontist, and he said, "Okay, well, I have bad news. It, it's not an orthodontic fix. Um, you're you should see a surgeon and and maybe discuss that route." So he recommended three surgeons, um, one of them being Arnett and Gunson, and um, another group up in Thousand Oaks and another local group that was in my insurance. So I went with my insurance doctor, the local one, and um, I'm sure he's a fine surgeon, but when I went in for the appointment, it lasted about a half an hour total. He took one set of pictures and at 37 years of age at the time, he said, you know, if you were 17, maybe you, you, could, you could use lower surgery, but uh, you know, I don't think you really need it now. You've lived this long without it. And I walked away feeling bad, like I was there for vanity reasons, not the pain or um, discomfort and and problems that I that led me to um, to a lot of this when I realized it was not a orthodontic fix. And um, so I came back to my ortho, and he said, "Yeah, I don't like that answer either. Let's let's have you get a second opinion, and I want you to go to one of these two. And I said, "Well, then I want to go to Arnett and Gunson because I, I've heard they're the best, and they're so close, and and I feel like I can make a more informed decision." I came up here and had a three-hour appointment versus a half-hour appointment, and was given the key piece of information that led me to surgery, which was um, not only did I need lower jaw surgery, which is what I th was told originally I only needed, but Dr. Gunson um, <laughs> broke it to me very gently that more importantly, I needed upper surgery because my airway was extremely compromised because of my, my upper jaw position. And um, I had no I, no idea of that, and that was really the um, that was the key piece of information when when we laid it all out and said, "Is this something we should do?" That was the key piece was breathing <laughs> in my airway. So after having our appointment and and going over all the information, there was a lot of informa information to digest and and um, and really think about and having extra information that we had no idea like the airway situation that was never something we had ever considered so my husband and I sat down and we uh, we laid it all out and we talked about what the financial cost was going to be what it was going to mean for our family um, taking me out of the equation for a while in recovery how are we going to do that all, all of those things were were put out on the table and um, and we really looked at everything and ultimately decided I was, at the time, only 37 years old and had a hopefully very long life left in front of me. And um, we decided we really wanted and needed me to be in the healthiest place I could be. And with a compromised airway and pain, because I've, I've had, I've been plagued with pain in my jaw since I was probably 12, but I'd never really thought much of it. it was just something that was there. And um, so it was something that I probably could have lived with, but why? And especially if it was something that could be fixed. And, um, and if I could be made to feel better, look better. Well, looking better wasn't high on the list, but just feel better and, and have things be where they were supposed to be, but never had the opportunity to be either because I don't, you know, I, I was sort of overlooked when I was much younger when it came to my teeth because they were always straight and I didn't have cavities as a child. So nobody ever looked and said, oh, your, your lower jaw didn't finish growing or, hey, we should put an expander in or, you know, none of that was ever there. So when it came time to look at me after four kids and all of that, we went, wow, you know this is something we should really consider. And like I said before, the, the, the tipping point for us, the ultimate decision maker for us was my airway and, um, and what the potential for that was.